All right. Up in the top left of our map, we have the Protoss leading one to zero. He is... Liquid Hero from America. Qualifying out of that WCS America as the champion, in fact. And then down here in the bottom right, a great Zerg player from Korea. He is... Azuba Symbol from Korea. Symbol, of course, uh, top four in this first HOTS GSL. And in fact, got second place in the last Wings Liberty GSL. Ridiculously talented Zerg player. A player we've been predicting to win a championship for a very long time, but hasn't yet. Now, it looks like it will be a Forge expand for Hero. He's not scouting yet, and that tells us that this is much, very much most likely going to be Nexus first. Uh, if you don't scout, generally speaking, that means you're trying to save a few extra minerals so you can grab that Nexus first and still get the Forge very quickly so you can get your cannon up. On symbol side of the map, looks like he's probably just going to be throwing down a pool here on 14. Yep, there you go. So, pretty standard openings by these guys, both of them playing safe, not really taking any risks. Right, pool being made. And, you know, this is... When they open with uh, these specific builds, it takes a few minutes to really discuss what they're doing because you can't actually tell with Protoss until the Cybernex core is done with the Forge Expand. That's really when you get to see what tech routes are going down. You know, are they going to get that quick plus one? Are they going to just go straight into Stargate? Are they going to grab quick warp gate research? Uh, Everything up to that point is basically exactly the same. Now, for a symbol, he's going just for a couple lings. We should be seeing a third base being taken very quickly by him, especially as his overlord is just now getting up to that choke and seeing, oh, okay, this is a forge expand. He can't do a quick warp gate rush. Should take that third base and really get an economy going. In fact, you do see this drone coming down right now towards that third, and these two lings gonna go ahead, attack the probe, make sure he can't really delay that third base. Does throw that down, because what this does is it either slows it down, uh, or the lings have to go and attack it right now. And if the lings attack it right now, the probe actually gets away. Now, if there are four lings chasing him, he doesn't make that pile, and there's just no point in it. Uh, because then he can kill the pylon really quickly anyways and still chase the probe down. But here the probe can go try to find some sort of ninja hiding spot and uh, perhaps later on be really useful in making proxy pylons or something of that sort. So Hero just very standard gas timings here. Still waiting for that uh, Cybernet next core to finish before we can say what's really going on. As far as symbol goes, very stand for him. I'll just keep an eye on when he actually takes his gases, see if that's uh, kooky at all. All right, that Cyber Next Core finally finishing up. All right, now we get to see what he's doing. Will he throw down a quick stalker here? Yep, he does grab that quick stalker. Uh, I'm thinking this might be Stargate play. You know, maybe. Push out pretty... Oh, no. Okay, he's actually going to grab the Mothership Core. So we might just see some very early harassment at the third base. Where... This is kind of interesting that he's taking this down. Oh, okay. It looks like what he wants to do here is take that down. Because normally you wall right there with a couple gateways and a cannon. You take a really quick third base. But by knocking that down, it messes up the normal SimCity you'd see, and the probe can't actually get in there. So you have to kill the rocks yourself before you make that nexus. So this was actually extremely, extremely intelligent. Because now the speed with which I was talking about Hero possibly taking that base before, that's way slowed down, because now he has to actually kill rocks to get in. And those rocks have a lot of hit points. Normally you just walk a probe in, Make the Nexus, make a wall, and bam, you have a third base. So nice move by Symbol. I really, really like that. One thing I do have to say, though, using those Zerglings up there the whole time, 
we do have a proxy probe on the map, so that could come into play later, because he could have been searching for that, instead he decided to kill the rocks. But I actually like killing the rocks there, because this is such an obvious map for Hero to do something like pressure, make a Stargate, and take a third off. Alright, so he is adding three gates right now. Doesn't necessarily mean he'll be aggressive right away. He may have just decided, well, my third base can't be that quick. May as well get my gates up and start making some units. Now, will he actually stack his his phoenixes? Looks like no, he's not going to this game. Gonna just send them out immediately. And this is why he's adding a lot of gateways right now. Now, what will this uh, actually end up scouting? How many gateways will he end up seeing? I don't think he's really going to see enough. And in fact, right now, we have five spores on the way. This is actually really good for Hero, that five spores on the way. And you may ask, Artosis, why? Why is that good? He's making phoenixes. Well, because he's actually going seven gate plus one. Uh, the phoenix, he has two of them. He's not even making any more right now. If he makes any more, I'll actually be surprised. These phoenixes are to clear the path so that he doesn't see this coming. Because don't forget, because those rocks were killed, the probe is still out in the map. The probe is still well hidden. He's going to be able to warp in a pylon in very close proximity uh, immediately. And in fact, he has another pylon on the other side. So, I mean, he's going to have multiple warp in locations. His opponent has made five spores and is going spire and infestation pit as if this is some sort of sky toss build, which is very good on this map. He's been completely duped. What's his unit count? 13 Zerglings. 13 Zerglings against 7 Gate plus 1. Goodbye, symbol. You are about to die. 20 drones we made. Okay, sick. This game looks like it's over. Uh, <laughs> sorry to sound a bit anticlimactic, but I'm doing a very analytical cast here. Uh, very analytical solo cast. See, Symbol is so in the dark, he's killing that, thinking there might be a third back there. And now he's realizing, uh-oh, how are you going to block this? Well, the answer is you absolutely are not. Hero is going to end up killing him here. Uh, going right for that Roach Horn to make sure not many Roaches can be made. So we're going to have about seven Roaches total to fight against this. Other than that, it's going to be Zerglings with no upgrades against plus one Zealots. So, Hero has basically played this completely perfectly as far as denying the right information to Symbol. Uh, and now he's going to punish him completely. So Symbol is going to be eliminated here in just a moment. And the thing is, Symbol already knows this. He's making some Swarmos. He's trying to figure out, like he's really going through his brain of thousands of thousands of games that he's played and thinking, has he ever been in any situation that will tell him anything about how he could possibly win a game like this? And the sad part is, no, not really. Like, he's gonna burrow Swarm Host and hope, like, well, you don't have protection. Maybe I can hold. But he's gonna lose his main in the meantime. He doesn't actually have enough Locusts up here to ever kill through this army all the way. So by the time that Hero has killed this, he's gonna have an Observer out and then he's going to attack in that third base area. And that's going to be that. Really good masking of this build by Hero. Uh, really interesting how the choices of both players led us to this extremely one-sided game. And, you know, he's, he's whittling through and losing that Mothership Core, actually. That's a really good moment because... He actually now isn't getting out of here as easily. That was a little bit sloppy right there. But he's about to have an Observer. He's still making a ton of units. He's keeping these armies apart from each other. Uh, and he's got, I mean, he's dealt beyond the amount of damage he really needs. You know, it's its 83 supply to 101. The only thing going on right now is Swarm host. And look at this. He's just going to target the hatchery down. This is going to bring Symbol to one base Swarm host. And one base Swarm Host, of course, not going to be all that great. The one bad thing is that he did lose that Mothership Core. And if he had that, he could have saved every single unit. So, now just comes the question, how do you finish this game? And Heroes decided, well, I'll get my Colossus tech because that's going to be good against Locust. He doesn't want them to get out of, out of hand. And he's throwing up a couple more Stargates. So, 
may as well go ahead into that sky toss because it turns out locusts don't hit air. The amount of anti-air that he actually has right now is exactly one queen. He is making a second. I'm pretty sh sure that uh, three queens don't beat, or two queens in this case, don't beat anything that comes out of three starters. All right, so. I mean, we're gonna sit here and wait until Hero gets up his right army. He's doing the right thing by not, uh, you know, being wasteful. Like, he could try to move up and kill these off right now, but really just making Void Rays and Colossus is going to be the right choice. You know, he's going to get a ton more units and just kind of fly over here and kill everything. Once he has enough to kill through the Queens, the, look, the Swarmos will just die right afterwards. Symbol's trying to make some sort of comeback by expanding to his natural, but unfortunately he's playing against what's soon to be a three base uh, Colossus Void Ray composition, which, you know, if Symbol had four bases right now producing units, this would still be hard to beat. But instead, he's got one base. So it's going to be harder than hard. He's making right now the uh, Nidus Worm. Of course, Nidus Worm, not going to be uh, really all that useful. Like, I mean, even if he makes one pops out on the other side, it'll just be killed off. And in fact, if he kills the entrance to the Night Swarm, then the Swarm Host won't even really be able to get away. And there it goes down. And now he sees this Colossus Void Ray. That's going to be a, a little bit sad for him. Unfortunately, Spore Crawlers can't go through Nidus's. That would definitely help out. All right, so let's just take a look here. There's three queens out, a lot of swarm hosts. So maybe he can get a really good locust volley or something. Maybe take out some of these colossi while he tries to build more queens. The void ray is all coming back now. See, this is why I was talking about before. He might actually just kill the entrance. If he kills the entrance right away, then these things can't get away. And see, he goes for it. Doesn't quite get it in time. But uh, symbol, symbol at this point, once again, he may have been feeling like maybe I can make a comeback with this. But now that he sees that there's there's all these void rays out, that's going to be pretty hard. And in fact, Hero's adding three uh, three robos, so he can just go mass, mass, mass Colossus from here. Hell, he could go mass Observer from here. It doesn't matter all that much. Uh, <laughs> there is a Nidus hole being popped out in the main. I really like that move actually from symbol. He actually could potentially kill the Nexus in the main base. The thing is, the actual composition of Hero is going to be so hard to deal with. All Hero needs to do right now is actually attack. <laughs> so these three are going to be uh, kind of trapped over there. Which I guess is fine. doesn't matter all that much. Void Ray is going to be clean everything out. A lot of uh, actual Phoenixes on the way right now. Not sure what those Phoenix's plan is. He may be deciding that he wants to lift up all the, the Swarmos and kill. Alright, finally a GG. Well, that was over for a very long time. Um, you know, it makes sense that Symbol stays in. He doesn't want to just GG out when there might be like a 1% chance that Hero follows up with something really bad. Like, what if Hero had gone into charge lots? Then yeah, the locusts are gonna kill him, and maybe maybe symbol wins. But hero knows what type of unit composition to make to ensure that he can go on. So he ends up killing off symbol, and unfortunately for symbol, he is now out. And that means we're gonna have another Protoss advance the round eight. That means we're gonna have two Protosses there total because Alicia already made it through in Group B. And our next match for the last spot in this group is going to be between Hero and SOS. One of them will be joining 4GG up in that round of eight. So, uh, a pretty sick PvP coming up next. I'm very excited about it. Because Hero and SOS, both very, very good at the matchup. Both of them play in the Pro League, which, if you need PvP practice as a pro gamer, Pro League is a place for you, because it seems like about two or three matches every single day are PvP. So, 
All right, we're going to jump to a quick commercial break, and then we'll be back with our last game of the day. So don't go anywhere.